Hey, welcome back to turn 25 of Three Peaks. So, uh, looks like uh, we're still in that really strong uh, position I was talking about in the last one. So, we're successfully contesting the hilltop. Uh, Doubles made a push uh, down on my left flank, which has uh, turned back, unless a big part of their Germans behind. Uh, round here, Donga has finally navigated. Uh, or we've probably made the hole wide enough, and we're going to get a Stuart covering the back slope of the hill, uh, which should really seal the deal. And in the meantime, it's just an exercise in keeping the mortar casualties down. Um, to which effect I was going to do something about these guys? I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, let's um, uh, press a go and see what we get here. Uh, particularly interested in any spots we might generate around here, courtesy of the steward. And you kind of see that. Oh, yeah, there we go. That might just be um, the sniper uh, spotting those guys. But uh, even if the steward can't see them, it should be in a position uh, to absolutely. Oh yeah, they're, they're attacking up the hill, so the Stuarts are going to be able to... Uh, Renier and Ney should be able to be able to get in as well. That's going to get messy. Oh, canister. Yep. Dong has seen him. Ho 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 ho! Oh, oh, I can't really look, wait to have a look at that. What do we get over here? Save the best bit till last. Uh, so I think these, this squad finally has enough and uh, moves off. Uh, we have lost a spot on these guys, but that's not too surprising. That looks okay. Um, the center and the right with uh, Donga are pretty much going to be interchangeable here, I think. So, uh, Double Nose is a threat here and he's dropping mortars. We can see... These guys, who can see them? Uh, Monsieur Baguette. See all that fire coming across the front from Renier there. Yeah, looks like more infantry squads. And they've been popping up some infantry smoke there as well, by the way. So this is what we would refer to as a target-rich environment. You see those guys getting up there. Oh, yeah, shaders on. And yeah, he spotted them. Actually, it looks like KOB had a uh, had a go up. Uh, yeah, just as they get up to the top, they can just about see him coming up. And then it's Thompson o'clock. Yep. And then, oh, that looked nasty. So if we look at that slope on the fast forward, you can kind of see how exposed those German pixel chopping are.
I am somewhat concerned by that though. It's just a random explosion here. I feel like that's unlikely to be a Panzerfaust because of the range. Uh, it's only got a range of 30 meters from that. German troops do have rifle grenades still. Not impossible, there might be some plucky uh, anti-tank minded Germans up here. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, Donga, I think, is see, gonna seal the deal here. Oh yeah, and another one. Maybe he's just trying to mortar this area. Because he knows, definitely knows that I have uh, the sniper down there. Maybe some other infantry. He's got to be maybe a little worried about it. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that 81mm uh, mortar fire can do about a Stuart. Uh, even landing on the top, it might damage the optics or something like that. Uh, damage the radio, but it's not going to... Uh, not gonna stop it. Uh, unless I have the hatch open and the mortar round drops in through the hatch and explodes inside the turret. That's bad. Uh, but yeah, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, so let's make sure that we are coordinating our fire. So we need uh, Renier to shift left a little bit this way. Uh, let's also get Ney in on the action and... So you know what, let's get Ney to pick his own targets. I've got a machine gun though. I can put some extra fire out. Yeah, let's say, uh, did we kill these guys at the start? I have a feeling we did. There's definitely a mortar team there. I have a feeling we sniped them? Somebody sniped them. Who was it? Yastromensky's... Yeah, it was Yastromensky's... Um, marksman, wasn't it? Anyway. See, if you're watching these all the way through... Um, it's currently uh, Saturday, yeah, Saturday, uh, and we started playing this on the last, we were setting it up on the last Saturday before, so that first turn is a week ago for me. I can't remember. Uh, that, that That's perfect, though. I don't even need to tell Donga where to shoot that. He's going to seal the deal. Uh, so, the mortars... Yep, that will in fact probably do, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, let's um, split McDonald's squad down here uh, and get them moving uh, closer to the crest so we can move up and occupy it. Uh, now that I'm, I'm distinctly not particularly troubled uh, by the concept of um, uh, by the concept of anybody uh, I I can't see how Double can take possession of this hilltop in in view of this kind of, um, you know, flanked by a Stuart. 
It ain't gonna happen. baby tank mountain goat thing uh, yeah. so yeah he's covered off with infantry support um, Renier is lighting that up, Ney is free to engage I don't feel like I really have that many decisions to make I think we're in a good place um, We might get DC and um, Nick here just to move up into the objective, just to be sure at the end. You know, DC can sit on top of point three six eight, have have a glass of wine and a bit of a picnic, and just watch the battle unfold. Um. Of course, saying that, we have five minutes left. Double might be able to pull something out of the hat. Um, it's not impossible by no means, but I think it is very difficult for 